And this is what the teachings of Baha'u'llah point towards, the need to further foster and develop our cooperative capacities and to regulate and, and 
discipline, our competitive instincts. So the Baha'i faith rejects the notion that society is merely an arena of competition for scarce resources in which a small number will be winners and most will be losers. Baha'u'llah taught that a maturing human society is like an interdependent social body in which every individual and group has to derive their well being from the well being of the entire social body and also give back to support that well being. This is what the principle of the oneness of humanity means. And this principle, the principle of oneness, is the central organizing principle of Baha'u'llah's teachings. And in the context of this principle of oneness, the principle of justice takes on its fullest meaning. Justice requires that every individual and group be given the fullest possible opportunity to develop their latent potential to contribute to the well being of the entire society. This is the world that most human beings have aspired towards for millennia. And at this moment in history, it's now possible for the first time to translate this aspiration into a new social reality. But to do this, we have to learn our way forward. We don't yet know how to reorganize human affairs on this scale. We have to learn how to reorganize human affairs around the principles of cooperation, reciprocity, and mutual empowerment. And the longer we delay, the greater will become the scale of human suffering. So this is no longer merely an idealistic aspiration. It's an existential imperative. Just consider the current global pandemic that we've all been suffering through for the last year, right? We cannot address challenges like this without developing new capacities for cooperation on a global scale. And we see hints of this already. I mean, the unbelievable speed with which vaccines were developed is actually an example of that kind of cooperation on a massive scale within the scientific community. But really getting this under control as quickly as possible requires cooperation on still greater scales, both within countries like the United States and around the planet. Or we can consider the catastrophic threat of global warming. Again, we cannot address existential threats like this without developing new capacities for cooperation on a global scale. So in essence, our species has transformed the conditions of our own existence. And social habits and cultural patterns we developed in the past are now becoming deeply maladaptives. The culture of contest is one of those deeply maladaptive patterns that we have to abandon. As we learn how to reorganize human affairs around the principle of cooperation or around the principle of oneness. And the good news is there are many promising trends in this direction. We're already a good ways down that path, but there's still a tremendous amount of work to do amount of learning to do, a lot amount of you know, capacity building to engage in. So it's becoming increasingly urgent that we get on with this work. And that was the essence of Baha'u'llah's teachings and of his warning that the longer we delay, the longer we drag our feet, the more uh, suffering we'll face. <laughs>